Hello everyone and welcome to Master Amanda's Virtual Tai Chi. I hope you enjoyed practicing Tai Chi with me today. And as we go through the uh, beautiful, elegant, and sometimes challenging movements, I'm going to explain to you the benefits of this wonderful practice. Now, even if you're a brand new Tai Chi student, just looking into it, or if you are a seasoned Tai Chi practitioner, I hope that you'll find something today that will encourage you and help you in your Tai Chi journey. All right, so let's begin. Go ahead and step your feet out about shoulder width apart and I want you to find a balance there. Find 50-50 on each foot and each leg. You might take a little wiggling to, to do that and that's perfectly okay. Now if you have shoes on that's wonderful. You know I do uh, oftentimes do practice in my shoes. It helps stabilize your your balance and uh, on cold days keeps your feet warm. So if you want to do this barefoot or in your shoes that's completely up to you. Now I want you to here just kind of lift your shoulders up and gently roll them forward and down. So now I have kind of a relaxed feeling in the upper body here. And just kind of wiggle the hands, let them loosen up. It's okay to just kind of move, move organically, just to kind of let this, the structure of your body settle and get into a nice just standing pose. So in this pose here, let's go ahead and start with Reaching the arms up, I'm going with the wrist first. Unfold the wrist and the hands, and then lower. Okay, again, lift the hands. And lower. And let's add a little bit to that. All right, we're going to add a breath. So I want you to inhale as you lift up. And as the arms float down, I want you to exhale and I want you to bend the knees and just let them gently go with the hands. And then return to standing. And we'll do that again. Now this is a G-Kong movement. Inhale. Exhale, let everything float down. And the name of this movement, return to your posture, again, is the water breath. So you can just kind of sense with that inhale and exhale this gentle, beautiful waterfall. This is a wonderful way to gently start your day or calm down your evening getting ready for bed. Return to neutral and let's do that one more time. So nice big inhale, breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. And return to neutral. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's bring one foot forward. And in this forward step, I want you to make sure you have enough space between the two feet so that you're not too narrow in your stance. All right, so keeping the feet a little wide here. And we're gonna take the hands, palms out. And we're gonna push the hands forward. And then we're going to draw the hands back in, right to your center, all right? So as I push forward, I am going to shift the weight to my front leg. And then as I pull back, I'm going to shift the weight to my back leg. Now let me turn to the side just so you can kind of see the legs a little bit better. So shifting forward and shifting back. Now, how far you bend your knees? is really up to you. We want to make sure that we do not overdo in these movements. They are supposed to heal us and strengthen us, make us better, not hurt us. And if I do something like this where I overreach and cause that foot to come up or I come way back, then I'm putting my body in unnatural positions and that's where we find ourselves getting strain. Now you may be able to do that, but you can only do that so many times. <laughs> this we can do. We can do this for a half hour if we wanted. And that's kind of the philosophy in the Tai Chi. 
keeping your body in a state where you can endure longer amounts of activity. Whatever activity that is that you love to do, Tai Chi can help you strengthen and be able to do that longer. Whether it's another sport, or whether it's gardening, riding a bike, walking, Tai Chi is going to give you the strength to be able to do the things you love to do longer in your life. All right, I think we've got that movement. We're going to try it on the other side. So simply just change your orientation. You can switch your feet or turn with me. And this one we're going to add a little breath to it. Because when we do the Ji Kong movements with the Tai Chi, we want to incorporate the breath. So this is a class you can go back again and again and do these exercises and start now that you know with the correct breathing. So I'm going to breathe out through the mouth as I gently push forward. And then I'm going to pull in, and I'm going to breathe in through the nose. Now here's a little thing that people have a hard time figuring out, and it does take a lot of practice. But when you breathe in, I'm actually pulling my abdomen, my core, my center, my dantian, all the same, in. And then when I breathe out, I'm relaxing that area. So I have a yin and yang motion here. I'm pulling in, I'm breathing in, but I'm also pulling the belly in. And then as I relax and push out, breathe out through the mouth, and relax the center. Now let's keep that going, practicing with the breath. So inhale, and exhale. Inhale, pulling the core in, exhale, releasing. Let's just keep that going. Just keep moving that. Now, one of the benefits of the movement and breathing and focusing on that is building core strength. And having a strong center, a strong core, is what helps us do all the things we love to do. Okay? It gives you the strength to bend, to rise, to twist, to lift, all of those things in just natural movement. And by having a strong core, it also strengthens our back. Because if we have a weak core, our back has to do a lot of extra work. So if we can strengthen the core, we can take some of that stress off of our back, which is really, you don't hear people complaining about their core hurting. You hear them complaining about their lower back a lot. And a lot of times the reason is they need strengthening in the core. So if you're getting that breathing down and feeling that pull in, that core pulling in, you're probably starting to feel those muscles waking up, talking to you. Now, because I'm doing this movement very gently, I can do it for an extended amount of time. And it's really hard to overwork the core. I can overwork the knees, I can overwork the shoulders, I can overwork the back, but I can focus on this core work for a very long time and get a lot of benefits from it. All right, nice. Now let's come back to the front, find that balanced feeling, and we're just gonna do some centering breaths. Inhale, arms up, in through the nose, and just gently breathe out through the mouth. And the focus here is just to center the energy, center your breath. Kind of find a finish, and then a restart. One more. Good. All right, that was a very gentle warm-up um, in the normal classes. We do spend a little bit more time with that. And we focus a lot on loosening up and flexibility of the ankles, knees, hips, your shoulders, and your neck. All kinds of beautiful exercises to get all that going. But let's start with, uh, in this practice today, I want to go over grasp the Peacock's Tail. It's a very simple move. And again, it has uh, gentle movements that are not going to overwork your body. You can also do all of these things seated. You, one thing you want to maintain while you're seated is a straight spine. So you're going to sit on the edge of your chair. You're never going to do this seated leaning full back in your chair. Right? So if you are practicing that way, 
do everything I do, just sitting on the edge of your chair. Okay? Alright, so in grasp the peacock's tail. Let's go ahead and just step out again as we were before with our forward and back motion. Alright? And there are a lot of variations to this. This is a very beginning, basic way to learn it. And as you go through more Tai Chi classes, you're going to get more details and more nuances and the intricate things of this and, uh, you know, develop it. I always like to think of Tai Chi as not peeling away layers of an onion, but adding to it. So you're always adding layers, adding layers to your practice and becoming more robust and more in depth. So let's start with the back hand on the top and the bottom hand underneath. So we're just holding the moon here. It's called embrace the moon, hold the moon. Some people call it hold the ball, but essentially it's just a rounded feeling, keeping everything relaxed. I don't want to be up here. I want to keep it nice and soft. Now I have my weight on my back leg and all I'm going to do is shift the weight forward. And as I shift the weight forward, that front arm reaches forward. So let's rock back and do that again. Very gently. Again, this is called grasp the peacock's tail. So you'll notice my palms do not change orientation as I go through movement. The palm that's facing down stays down. The palm that's facing up stays up. And I extend forward. You'll also notice I have a little arch in my hand. So rounded between the thumb and the first finger right here. And that's going to be in both hands. So the Tai Chi hand is one of intention. We want to move freely and softly, but not too loose or relaxed. We want to be focused. So on your hands, I want you to think about having a rounded palm, like you could put an egg in your palm and hold it that way. That kind of just minute detail is going to help you have nice intention and good hand position. It also strengthens the hands. So though Tai Chi is relaxing, it's not completely relaxed, where it's not floppy or loose. It's smooth and intentional. Again, remember, do not overdo your movement. I'm not putting a whole lot of weight on that front leg. I'm really finishing at about 50% of my weight on the front leg. Let's do one more. Embrace the moon. Grasp the peacock's tail. Good. All right, as I mentioned before, that is just a very simple variation of it just to kind of get you started with the forward and back flowing motion. Okay, let's do three breaths to recenter after that exercise. In through the nose, out through the mouth. movement was pushing forward, working the core, drawing back in. And this is actually called gathering chi. So you get that sense of bringing good things, good energy, good thoughts, good breath into the body and exhaling. And then the third movement we did was grasp the peacock's tail. And that was starting from embrace the moon and moving forward into grass and peacock's tail. All right, very simple, very basic. Uh, in my Tai Chi practice in the class, we'll go over nuances of how to do that even um, more simply or more advanced. Okay, I know there's, everybody's at different levels. All right, let's learn one more movement. Okay, this movement is called brush knee and twist. All right, so whichever leg you had forward for grass and peacock's tail, let's take the other leg forward for brush knee and twist, all right? Now for brush knee and twist, I'm gonna shift the weight back as I did before. 
But instead of holding the ball, I'm going to turn both palms down. So here. So instead of here, here. Okay? Now, as I shift the weight forward, I'm going to take the front hand and just, just like it says, brush the knee. It's going right over the knee. So again, just kind of unfolds just like that. Okay, let me do it from the side just so you can kind of see that angle. So starting from the back and brush the knee. Now the other hand is going to push forward. And that pushing forward, you can see my waist turning. That's where the twist part comes in. So brush knee and twist. Some, some people call it brush knee and push. So I, I like the twist because it reminds me to twist on that. All right, so let's try that again. Same, same foot forward that you had. Shift the weight to the back. Hands prepared. Now as I shift the weight forward, brush the knee and twist. Notice that I'm leading with the edge of my palm here, not the whole thing flat. So in a very comfortable, natural position where this might feel a little tension there, we're going to keep it neutral. Not all the way in, just neutral. All right, so let's try it again. Weight back, shift the weight forward, brush the knee, and twist. Now, I want you to turn the back foot as you twist, and that's gonna help you go into that movement a little bit more, okay? It'll also take the pressure off of your knee. We don't wanna twist one way and not let our joint come with us, okay? That's very, very important. All right, so let's start back again. We'll do a couple of them in a row here. Brush the knee. Twist, remember to turn that back foot. Brush the knee and twist. Notice that I'm finishing centered. I'm not over, overdoing it, putting my body in an awkward position, but very natural, very relaxed finish, okay? All right, let's keep going. Now I want us to do quite a few in a row here. So just reset each time, shifting the weight back. Practicing the motion very gently, brush the knee and twist. Now let's think about some things as we're doing this. Tai Chi has been around for a long, long, long time. It's the first martial art. All the other arts come from Tai Chi. <clears throat> and Tai Chi translated actually means grand ultimate fist, which people are surprised by that because of such a, the, the gentle healing motions that you um, kind of conjure in your mind when you think of Tai Chi. Grand ultimate fist is not necessarily that comes to your mind, but when practiced correctly, and focused, it is a very powerful martial art. The reason it moves slowly is because there's something secretive about it. Early practitioners didn't want to know, want, didn't want their enemies to know what their moves were all about. And so they practiced them in this fashion. And then what you realize is that, and they realized, is they had Long lives, healthy lives, strong bodies. And that's definitely over my 20 years something that I have learned about Tai Chi. Even if I've done something, overdone it in another activity, I can always come to my Tai Chi and practice and heal my body. Let's do one more. Excellent. All right, bring the feet up, shoulder width again. Inhale. Exhale. This time I want you to take a deeper breath out. I want you to think about breathing all the way out through your legs and through your feet. Let's do two more of those. There, inhale. So we're not centering here. We're actually getting rid of all the breath, clearing the lungs. And again.
Thank you so much. Now, very simple practice. Water breath, gathering chi, grasp the peacock's tail, and brush knee and twist. Four movements that you can practice over and over and over again to start understanding how Tai Chi works in your body, whether you're seated or standing. And in my traditional classes, we go through those movements. We go through many, many more, uh, specifically uh, from the Yang 24 form. And then also many Qigong exercises that are going to help promote good breathing techniques, stress relief, strengthening the body, gently increasing the range of motion. You know, where maybe you used to be able to reach all the way up without problems and now it kind of gives you that little twinge or you take too big of a step and you feel a pain. We're going to work on that in our Tai Chi to go from here to here, gently, slowly, and a pace that works for you. Now, if you can already do that and you have no issues, there's also extra challenges that we can focus on, on keeping that range of motion, not losing it, okay? So again, something for everybody. I hope you enjoyed this practice, and I hope that you will consider joining me in my live Zoom classes for Amanda's Virtual Tai Chi, where we will expand your knowledge of Tai Chi. And because it's live in Zoom, you can ask questions, and I can watch your movements and make sure you're doing it right. And uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful forum for us to do that. So again, Master Amanda, Thank you for watching.